Those look a lot like the type of cups magicians use. should I use? Hey, do you like to gamble? I know a really cool game that uses cups and a ball, just like these. Oh, I'm busy. It will only take a minute. Better than Vegas. What's the game? I'll show you. We need three cups. This is position number one, position two, position three. I know this game. It's not what you think. You're going to hide the ball. You can put it under any one of the cups. You can even move the cups around. I'll turn my back, but in the end, I'll be able to tell you where the ball is. How can you do that? We'll see. The only thing is, you have to tell me what positions you're swapping. For example, you can say one and two, if you are switching one and two. But I can put the ball anywhere. Yep. Ready to try it? I'll turn my back. All right. I hit the ball. Hide the ball bearing and then swap cups. On the first swap, switch the cups that do not have the ball silently. After that, you can switch any two cups, but you have to tell me which numbers you're swapping. I swap one and three. I swap two and three. I swap one and two. I swap one and three. I swap two and three. I swap two and three. There it is. How did you do that? Luck. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You have to tell me how to do it. I could earn a fortune down at the pub. Hmm. Giving up my secrets? That will cost you. What do you want? Close your eyes and count to a hundred, silently. Why? It's part of the ritual. I feel like a horse's arse. One, two... Silently. There. That should let me into the grad wing without the alarm ringing. Oh, hi, Malik. I was just coming to see you. Hi, Sam. It's not a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. I was just fired. Oh, I'm sorry. But you probably don't need the money, right? Of course I need the money. My parents have six other kids to feed and educate. I try to take as little from them as possible. I don't know what I'll do now. I'll have to find another job. Sorry. Hell. I hated working for that guy. So, why did you sign up for the experiment with Styles? I'm a huge fan. Styles is why I came to Oxford. Then he quit teaching before I got a chance to take a single class with him. Why doesn't he teach anymore? From what I've seen, he wasn't physically disabled by the accident. And he's sane enough, I think. He's reachable. He just needs to be pulled out of himself. And for people to quit screwing with his head. Look, I have to go. See you later. Bye.
Angela? Oh, hi. Is this Angela Mulholland's room? It says I'm her roommate, Kelly. Hi, I'm Sam. Angela is not here. Is there something I can help you with? Does Angela have a lot of friends? Oh, not that I know. I think you're the first one I've ever met. She doesn't talk about a friend of hers who's really into magic? No. Oh. Do all graduate students have roommates? It depends what you sign up for. I just transferred here. I thought it would be a good way to get to know people. So, how do you like rooming with Angela? Fine. Yeah, it's been fine. I'll probably get a room by myself next term. I think it's harder to adjust to living with a stranger when you're more mature. That's a gorgeous sweater you got on. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite, actually. My mother made it. You're kidding. No, she's quite good. I can't eat a thing myself. Me neither. That's amazing. I need to get Kelly out of here so I can search this room. I'm missing something to do this trick. Miss Everett, I was hoping you'd stop by today. Well, it's nice to be wanted. I was just putting some things away, and I found something you might like. What is it? A magic lantern. You put an image inside, and the lantern projects it like a hologram. Let's see if it still works. Oh, wow! It comes with the butterfly, but you can put any image inside. A popular item with sales mediums back in the day. How much? It's been in this window for years. I'd be a fiend to charge you. It's my gift to you. Uh, really? That's sweet of you. I... thanks. I might be able to use it in my stage act. You might. Thank you. My pleasure. I'd like to pay before I go. Right you are. Thank you, Miss Everett. Hello? Huh? Damn. I might as well just turn this thing off. Oh my god. Helena and Mephistopheles? Maybe David was right. It is one of the girls, and they both have me completely fooled. I've been telling them everything.
One hundred. I mean, one hundred. Dang. So, you gonna tell me how the trick works or what? Well, there is one more thing. You could go downstairs and get me a cup of coffee. Is that all? Well, I can do that. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Who, me? Do you have some paper? I think I'll leave a note for Angela. Sure. Sorry, can I borrow a pen? By the way, I love your bedspread too. Do you? Um, ink stuck. Oh, crap. I am so sorry. My sweater! Listen, run to the bathroom and wash it really well with cold water and soap. It will come out, I swear. But... Hurry, before it sets! I hope that comes out. This magazine is old, and well-read by the look of it. Obsess much? This magazine is old, and well-read by the look of it. Obsess much? Angela enrolled here in September of 2002. Angela looked better as a brunette. Angela enrolled here in September of 2002. I think that's the island where Angela grew up. Beautiful. That must be Angela's father. Interesting looking guy. I think that's the island where Angela grew up. Beautiful. So Angela's not a natural blonde. Interesting, but hardly a crime. Well, whether or not it's a crime depends on your point of view, I guess. Angela's really into fairies. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Angela's really into fairies. Much pink everywhere. I don't get how Kelly stands this. The cold water worked. The ink's gone. I can't believe it. That's a relief. I was just uh, looking at this picture. Oh, that. That's Angela's dad. He owned a pub on the Isle of Mull, but it burnt down a few years ago. He was killed in that fire. That's awful. I had no idea. She doesn't like to talk about it. Weird. I've met several people with horrible losses like that recently. Did you write that note? No. I think I know where Angela is, so I'll just run over there. Well, if I see her first, I'll tell you stop by. Um, okay. Thanks. See you.
Hey, Charles. What are you doing studying here? Avoiding people. Helena-type people? Yes. Your sanctuary is safe with me. Thanks, Sam. I'm not sure who might be guilty anymore, so I better keep my distance from the others. I'm not sure who might be guilty anymore, so I better keep my distance from the others. I'm not sure who might be Hey Charles. Yes? Tell me the truth. Helena isn't interested in you when none of us are around, is she? Um, yes, she is. Well, I think it's all an act. No, believe me. She really wants to get me. I know, because I break out in a cold sweat whenever she's around. In fact, you're one of the few girls who doesn't make me sweat. Guess that's because you don't see me as an object. Oh, I do see you as an object, Charles. Just a big, goofy, two-boy band for me object. That works, too. I hear you have a brother. That must be nice. Me? I'm an only child. Really? I could have sworn someone said they'd met your younger brother. Kind of a dumpy kid? No, it's just me and Mum. Oh, okay. You said you didn't know Dr. Stiles before you joined the experiment. I didn't. Then maybe you can explain why you have a copy of his Scientific American article? Huh? Mum sent me that after I told her about Dr. Stiles. God! Right. She would. Your mom. How did you know I have the article anyway? I never mentioned it. Someone must have told me. Was it Helena? Has she been spying on me? It must have been her, yeah. So, what do you think of magic? You mean, like on the telly? Not exactly. You probably know someone who does magic, right? My great uncle. He used to take coins from my ear. But then he'd never give them to me. Isn't that supposed to be part of it? I mean, why pull a coin from a little kid's ear and then pocket it, hmm? Yeah, bummer. Look, I'm sure there are people right here in Oxford who are good at magic. You must know someone. Well, here. Never mind. Well, I need to know after all. Hello, Mrs. Eddington? Yes, can I help you? Yes, I'm Miss Pembroke from St. Edmund Hall College at Oxford University. We have a problem concerning the registration of your son, Charles. What's the matter? Nothing important, I hope. Is he fine? Nothing important, madam, but we happen to have some confusion about Charles's photograph. Could you describe your son, please? Oh, yes. My boy's tall, with a lovely angel face and blue eyes. An adorable blonde air. <laughs> Is everything okay for the school? Well, that's strange, because the photograph we have on file shows him kind of shorter and heavier. Oh, yes. He changed a lot last year. He joined the athletics team and shot up a good eight inches. You don't know how disconcerting it is to have your son turn into a hunk. Hmm. I suppose it's okay, then. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eddington. That's all right. Goodbye. Well, so much for my theories.
Dr. Stiles? Yes? Angela started Oxford in September 2002, but she seems pretty immature for her age. Her room is very pink. Pink. She doesn't have many friends, according to her roommate, and her father died in a accident. I get the feeling she's a little backwards. Do you want my opinion? No. Okay. I looked into Helena's background. She started Oxford this year, but she could have been around long before that. I found a theater program in her room dated October 2002. October. Yeah. Also, I think she may have a drug problem. I found a syringe and bottles in her room. Could there have been prescription? Maybe a suppressant or... She's young and healthy. Why would she need a prescription? She's obviously rich, and a party girl. So because she's rich, she must be completely lacking in judgment. Never mind. Fact. She had a bottle and syringe in her room. I'll leave my opinion out of it. Good idea.